<clears throat> hey, how's it going? So today I'm going to be doing some more Jeff Loomis stuff uh, because I think that you guys enjoyed watching me. I did all right at it, you know. It was pretty tricky, but uh, I feel like I picked a maybe a relatively easy spot in comparison to some of his crazy solos. So, so today I'm gonna do this solo from Conquering Dystopia, so his other band. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what they're doing now, but it's basically a, a pretty much a super group between um, it was him and Keith Marrow and Alex Rudinger and who was playing bass? Uh, it was a badass band. So anyway, um, we're gonna do that. This is off of their album. Uh, I don't know what album this is off of. Destroyer of Dreams. I guess it's like their only album. And it is from the album <laughs> Conquering Dystopia. Very good. <laughs> I'll just waste your time looking up stuff on Google. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and play the part. So it's, it's basically that. It's a really cool repeating pattern. Um, now props to uh, Keith Merrow as well, who is uh, a buddy of mine and just an unreal guitar player too. He writes some pretty crazy riffs. So, uh, but we're going to be focusing on uh, Jeff's part. I don't know if Jeff wrote it. I would assume that he wrote it. He's playing it, but uh, but you never know. Sometimes collaborative collaborative stuff, uh, you know, turns into one guitar player writes both riffs. I have I have no idea. So. Um, but anyway, we're going to take a look at it. Uh, it's in drop A, so I'm just going to warm up real quick. It's been a few hours since I played guitar, so uh, I will do that. Let's take a look at the tab here. All right, drop A. All right, I have a feeling I'm gonna have some trouble with this part here, uh, just because of my extended range and my tiny hands. So I'm gonna start off by just kind of getting the feel of the the rhythm. I guess it's just uh, straight sixteenths. Or is it triplets? I think it's straight sixteenths. No, it's, it must be triplets. It doesn't really say. All right. Working on this. Let me move this camera over a little bit, get a better view here. Mm -hmm. 
So I might try to get sort of a repeating kind of feel of that of that part of the riff. I think most of it's kind of the same kind of thing. Okay, open string and then uh, hammering on some, you know, uh, groups of threes. says you know what let's watch let's watch uh, slow motion a little bit of what's going on here with uh, oh what's going on here with this part get it down to quarter three quarter speed oh there's a tap in there oh no okay so he definitely goes down to that uh, that other the, the seventh fret this fucking massive hands. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so this tab might be wrong. This kind of thing, um, the open string is not acting as any sort of melody note. We're sort of just using it like a percussive kind of thing. So if you're trying to work up towards getting this riff down, I'd say uh, probably working on just that that feel of the the hammer-ons, uh, groups of three, on those low string low strings. Next arpeggio. Uh, let's watch it one more time, see if I can get some insight into it. Oh no, that's it. That is what he's doing. All right, okay. So seventeen on the A. too bad. I, I feel like that's most of the riff. I guess it does sound right. It just sounds kind of happy when we play it slowly, but hey, whatever. I'm just gonna try and hack my way through it a few times. Hmm. 
it's maybe that instead. Instead of this, it might be that. That would be sort of like an inverted major arpeggio. You might think about it like if you're into caged method thinking on guitar, uh, sort of like an A chord shape, an A major chord shape, all bunched up up here. Um, but instead having the three in the bottom, which turns it into sort of, sort of a minor chord a little bit. Uh, sort of. Yeah, so uh, it's got more of a minor sound, but it, it's just first inversion uh, major chords, so. I, th I feel like, I think that sounds better. I'm not, I, I'm not entirely certain that this is exactly what he played. I mean, in this tab, yeah, I wish there was a clearer view. It's like not even the same rhythm, it's like faster. wrong but I mean I feel like it sounds it sounds pretty good it's really hard to tell what is going on slow down YouTube slow down algorithms are very noisy and strange so I mean not like to find any better ones or maybe you will I don't know I think slowing down to stuff like that is just gonna inherently give you sort of bad sounds Oops. Shift riff from uh, liquid tension experiment. Anyway, show sure these open kind of strings. Oh my god, that sucks. does it the way that's on the tab. seems a little bit easier so instead of playing it here that that pedal pedal note I'll just do this guy uh, sixth fret on the G string I feel like that might be a bit easier just for the way that I play I don't know uh, okay I'm trying a few more times Shit. 
was I just looking at the tab wrong? I think I might have been. Oh, right, because there's a seventh string. Right. No, that's... Oh, so I was playing the right arpeggio. All right, cool. No, this makes more sense. Uh... I guess they're used to playing six string tabs, now they're playing to a seven string. It's like, wait, what? Oh, I see why you did it there. That does make more sense. I've got a good handle on kind of the riff, but I need to definitely drill it a few more times. So I'm just going to sit here and drill for a bit. Um, I know that the tempo is 120 according to this tab. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, let's see, 120. So we're going to try playing to a click of. Actually, I'll just put 120 on and I'll see how that sounds. And I'll play half time. No, I won't do that. 60. So if you're doing triplets. Yeah, so they're triplets, so if I did Sort of locking in more and more as I play it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, I found an easier way. All right, cool. So on the tab, I was giving this. Which I'm shoot up there, but instead, I'll just play the same note with my index finger that I just played with my pinky. So let's try 80, and I'll just repeat that one version of the phrase, one one phrase, so without doing the uh, the next tail. easy. It's still going to take me, uh, you know, another however long to sort of get it up to speed. Oh. I want to get that. So I want to figure out a way to transition from here. this um, lots of hybrid picking so I'm using my right hand all these other fingers my right hand to sort of pick these string skip shapes uh, so that's a big thing um, we're using some economy picking as well so economy picking would be using the direction of the next string to dictate what kind of string uh, what kind of pick stroke you're gonna do so if I'm heading down this way I might as well do a down stroke to get to the next string um, rather than, of course, alternate picking, which would be the exact opposite of that. So, or not the exact opposite, but uh, what I mean is alternate picking is a strict pattern that you always do. Economy picking sort of, it kind of depends on which, which direction you're going in, so. That would be the economy picking part. and see what it sounds like. Whoops, I'm in. Drop A, I forgot. Oops. Oh, that's not too bad. I'm getting better with it. Oops. 
Okay, so if the song is at 120, uh, let's try 90 and see what it sounds like, see if I can get through the entire thing. I'm not sure if the song is at 120. No, we'll see. Oops. That is a that is a tough part. Okay, so we're at 90, which is 30 BPM short of the song tempo apparently, and if we're playing this at three quarter speed, this should be doable. One cool thing that he's doing is that the, uh, halfway through the uh, halfway through the, re the repetitions that he does, he'll open it up instead of really muted. Actually, open up. Oops, that part really messes me up. So that could be something that, uh, if you're working on this yourself, trying to remember dynamics is a big part of this. Um, if we're at 90 BPM, I think I'm probably ready to bump it up to 100. <clears throat> Let's double check the tempo of the song, so we're going to go into normal speed. One twenty-five. So I have five extra BPM to try and get. So I'm going to try 105 and see what it sounds like. I bet you it's going to be hard. I mean, really, the only challenging part for me at this tempo is this. So that one's tough.
cool. Alright, I'll try 110, see if I can do it. I'm playing a little bit sloppy, but I, I feel like uh, I feel like it sounds pretty good. Just need some tightening up. That's one of those riffs that's sort of making my left hand burn a little bit, which is pretty crazy. Uh, I'm just going to listen to it a few times, see if there's any, any other sort of insights I can kind of gain by watching him play it. Yeah, it's cool. He does all of it alternate picked or economy picked or whatever. There's no hybrid picking. Uh, picking with your other fingers at all for him. So, <laughs> which is insane. That's just, yeah, it's pretty cool. Fifteen, we're up to one fifteen. Ten BPM away, I feel pretty good. Um, I feel like I'm sort of like falling behind a little bit, so let me just slow it down. Try to get back that muscle memory. Try to just make sure I'm doing everything totally right. Yeah, I definitely did it right. Alright, let's try back 115. First tough. Alright, I gotta take a bit of a break. My left hand is sort of hurting. This is one of those 
very challenging endurance type wrist, which is pretty cool. My pinky and index yeah, usually work pretty well together, but for some reason, uh, through my guitar playing career, I've always had, like sort of had still a little bit of trouble keeping the endurance up between the index and pinky hammer-ons. So just stuff that goes back and forth between those two fingers. I don't know what it is, just the way that my hands are built, I, I'm not sure. Or maybe I haven't put enough time into it, so. But now that I've had a few seconds to rest, 120, pretty close to song speed. <laughs> BPM away, I feel pretty confident. Oops, what the hell am I doing? <clears throat> We're gonna try it. Song speed. pretty close. I feel pretty close to that. I may take just a minute break, let my hands sort of get back to not burning, and then uh, I'll be back and I'll see if I can do a full speed and, and get it a little bit cleaner. Alright, I am back. Let's see if I can do this one more time, get it a little bit cleaner. with that. Um, I think that that's something maybe I'll continue to work on a little bit, but I have the whole thing memorized, played up to speed, kind of sloppy, I'd say maybe like 80% there. Um, you notice every once in a while I'm missing a couple notes. At that speed, there's sometimes, uh, some, sometimes you have to sacrifice a note, a note or two, especially when you're sort of like not 100% on it yet, but uh, yeah, I feel pretty good. It uh, wasn't so bad. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching this episode and all the stuff that I went over uh, and downloaded links and all that sort of stuff is going to be in the description below the video, so check that out. Please like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, suggest what else you want me to attempt to learn on the next episode. Thanks so much.